It changed to something that most of us couldn't remember for a long time. Now I, I finally have it in my head. I find it h highly ironic. Especially since John Brennan himself was told by the Saudi guy who was almost blown up, hey, you know, they're going to try something new. They're going to try something with bombs in their underwear because they tried to kill me. And in fact, the particular bomber in Saudi Arabia, the only reason he didn't kill the prince was because when he went into the palace, he tripped and blew himself up in one of the rooms before he got to the actual prince. If you see, hear, or smell something suspicious, report it. I was told by the Saudi guy who was almost blown up, hey, you know, they're going to try something new. They're going to try something with bombs in their underwear because they tried to kill me. No smoking gun. Listen. Here's the Saudi bomber, Abdullah Lassiri, brandishing the device he's going to put inside him. He rang the prince, pretending that he wanted to surrender to him in person. In late August, he crossed into Saudi and flew in the prince's plane to Jeddah. No one detected his hidden bomb. It changed to something that most of us couldn't remember for a long time. In one of the rooms before he got to the actual prince. No, he was next to the prince. And in fact, the particular bomber in Saudi Arabia, the only reason he didn't kill the prince was because when he went into the palace, he tripped and blew himself up. Together, they phoned another Al-Qaeda militant, but the prince was being duped. A mobile phone now triggered the bomb inside Abdullah, killing him and shocking the security world. Well, I find, it, I find it highly ironic that now in 2010, we're back to talking about the war on terror in a very big way. Think about that. Think about the power of that. I watch. I report. I keep us safe. Oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, a gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say a son of a bitch, didn't you? That's all, folks.